Greetings and welcome, everyone. Today I am joined once again by my brother, Tarek Dragon. This time it's Game Master Tarek. I'm getting ready to run a tabletop Pathfinder campaign with a bunch of friends this summer. Wait, you're doing another one? How long have you been keeping this up now? I've played some form of tabletop role-playing game since I was around 10 or 11 years old. It's a lot of fun. Being able to create a heroic character, then put them into some fantasy world where you decide how they'll act. We'd love to have you play with us if you're interested. Oh, I'm sure there's a lot of fun to be had in tabletop gaming. I've certainly enjoyed watching other people play once in a great while, though every time I've tried it myself, it's never lasted too long. Either I start with a group that quits after one or two sessions, or I have difficulty finding enough motivation to keep going every week for months on end. I don't know. Maybe I just never found the right group of people or the right game to play. <laughs> I wonder if you'd enjoy playing a Pony Finder campaign, hmm? Pony Finder? Eh, ask Silverquill and Keyframe. They did an ad for it a while back. Essentially, it's like playing Dungeons and Dragons, but with pony characters. All right, I should have remembered. Recently, Dr. Wolf shared with me a conversation he had with Miss Stardust regarding the value of roleplay. A lot of folks understand roleplay to be found on tabletops, in forums, or in instant messages, where one can take on a different persona and have fun acting out the new role. While these are certainly common forms of roleplaying, Stardust was presenting a different take. She feels that roleplay can be developmental, exploratory, and even therapeutic in people's lives. Which, when I thought about it, really fits with Dr. Wolf's role. In many ways, I'm able to explore and discuss ideas more freely because I am talking through this character. From my experience, roleplay allows players to become something beyond themselves. It allows us to explore characters and worlds that are improbable or even impossible in the real world. In many cases, role players are able to step into the shoes of someone ideal, someone they look up to, and often find themselves in new, exciting, heroic, and even dangerous situations. Playing the part of a psychologist has actually helped me to be more empathetic and motivated in my everyday life outside of YouTube. Before Dr. Wolf, I often struggled to fill my time with purpose. But after Dr. Wolf, I find I have far more drive towards a goal and thus I'm accomplishing far more than I ever thought possible. In a lot of cases, role-playing is a release for players, a way for them to channel inner desires and feelings that they may otherwise find difficult to express. For some people, role-playing is a cathartic experience, allowing them to bring out troubled or painful feelings and memories. This is why therapists, teachers, facilitators, and even parents use role-play as a tool. Which actually sheds some light on many of the guests for the A Moment with Dr. Wolf series. For some people, they aren't able to talk about such personal topics quite so easily when face-to-face -face with their family, friends, or even a real therapist. But through their characters, many of them find much more confidence to explore and discuss certain issues that they really hadn't touched on before in everyday life. I think this is what Miss Stardust was referring to. The fact that role play makes it easier to bring out feelings and thoughts, and then allowing them to be examined in a safe manner. A lot of your listeners may identify with shyness, anxiety, fear, or feeling intimidated when it comes to expressing personal desires and emotions. Many are hesitant or even resistant to make themselves vulnerable by opening their personal feelings to others. Role play allows us a safety net, if you will to explore these personal issues while still having a sense of detachment from the raw, sometimes painful feelings that accompany them. In essence, if some other character is opening up to talk about difficult things, then that character becomes a surrogate that helps shield the real person from fear, anxiety, and embarrassment. I must admit, Dr. Wolf has allowed me to tackle subjects that I've had a lot of difficulty addressing before. In a sense, he has become a sort of beacon in my personal life. As much as I'm bringing my own thoughts and experiences to these videos, I feel a greater inspiration when I'm talking through a character who is living up to greater ideals than what I've achieved myself as of yet. Once again, it gives me a greater goal to reach towards. In addition, roleplay can also be a tool to help work through mental and emotional illness or disability. I myself have been closely associated with family members with mental or emotional illness for many years. At first, not having these illnesses myself, 
I found it difficult to relate to them and understand the difficulties they face on a daily basis. However, over the years, I've learned to put myself in their shoes, as it were, and I gained a much greater understanding. I've learned that many things that I think are simple and ordinary can become overwhelming, insurmountable obstacles to those with mental illness. Well, Tarek, I'm glad that we've been able to accomplish so much with these fictional characters on screen. And I wish to thank you for adding some of your personal experiences to the discussion. <laughs> personal experiences. Oh, you have no idea how much roleplay has become a part of who I am. <laughs> Come to the dark side. Come and play with us. Yeah, I've heard that spiel from you ever since I was a child. It doesn't work on me. If you will not be turned to the dark side, then perhaps she will. Uh, Doc? Why am I here? Should I be afraid? Cause I am! Okay, I know Superquill breaks the fourth wall constantly, but I would like to know how you snatched me here. Okay, I think that's enough Star Wars quoting for one day. Aww. Maybe we'll do more next video. In the meantime, though, we would love to hear from each of you. Have you found any new sense of confidence, drive, or inspiration when interacting as a character you've created? Do you have any personal experiences that might help others to learn to better open up with their struggles? We would like to hear your thoughts on these topics, and just like countless times before, I am Dr. Wolf, and I look forward to hearing from you. Uh, B B Blissey, I, I, I was, I was just kidding. Uh, come back! No! Taste the rainbow! <laughs>